whoa. I just keep taking sips of it because I'm like so shocked and confused and it doesn't seem real. Hi everyone, in today's video we are doing ordering the least popular boba drinks on the menu. Honestly, I'm quite nervous for this video, but I thought it would be a fun concept to try out because when you go to a boba shop, you always ask, what's the most popular drink? Because those are the ones that they're most known for and they tend to be the best drinks at the boba shop. But no one is asking, what is the least popular drink? here. So um, we might be getting some weird looks from the boba shop workers, but you know, we're doing this for research, for science, and it might turn out to be a fun experiment. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And also, if you have any other video concepts you would like to see on my channel, make sure you leave them in the comments. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. All right, so we just stopped by Tasty and they have such a large menu, I feel like. So I thought it'd be interesting to find out what's the least popular drink there. When I asked them, they kind of had to think about it because I feel like no one really asks anyone that. But the cashier went to go ask the manager and the manager said it was the almond milk tea. So that's what we got here. And we also got their least popular topping, which is the soy jelly. I didn't even know they had such a topping at Tasty. Of course, we got to go ahead and use our Feed Meme glass boba straw. I know that you guys have been saying that it's sold out the carrying case that it comes in it's really hard to source right now like it's practically impossible so going forward it's gonna come in a custom craft tubing the craft tubing is actually a lot more slim basically just a little tiny bit bigger than the straw so yeah from now on it's gonna come in the craft tubing it will still have the glass boba straw the brush and a sticker as always I will link it in the description and by the time this video goes up it should be back in stock so go check it out I have to admit I'm a little bit nervous but let's go ahead and try it It tastes a lot like those almond cookies, like those Chinese almond cookies. I remember having them when I was a kid. Let me know if you guys know those almond cookies that I'm talking about. But wow, that almond taste is definitely there. Surprisingly, I can still taste like a milk tea flavor as well, even though the almond flavor is so strong. And I think on the first sip, it just took me by surprise. But the second sip was pleasantly better. I don't usually like that like almond extract taste but yeah this is actually not horrible i think the first sip was kind of horrible but then now i'm kind of getting more used to it and i still have yet to get some of that soy jelly oh i mean i actually think that these two surprisingly go very well together who would have known that the least popular drink and the least popular topping would actually go so well together the soy jelly it doesn't add that much texture because it kind of just like breaks apart in your mouth before you can even chew it. You can kind of, you know, feel it, but it definitely just kind of breaks apart in your mouth. It kind of reminds me of like a tofu pudding, and I feel like tofu pudding and almond milk tea would actually go really well together. So surprisingly, it's not bad. <laughs> would I get it again? Not really, because like I said earlier, like I don't order almond things, but I mean, if you do like almond flavoring, kind of stuff, then I think you would definitely like it. So yeah, now we're gonna go to the next stop, which is Seven Leaves in Berryessa. So let's head over to Seven Leaves. All right, so we just went to Seven Leaves and we got their least popular drink. And special shout out to Amy who watches my videos. Thank you so much for watching. So when I asked them what the least popular drink is, they said it's probably the Japanese matcha tea because it's just matcha and water. And I definitely have never tried that at Seven Leaves before. So this will be interesting. And then I also got their least popular topping. And I think they only offer like four toppings. So there's not that many to choose from, but they said their least popular topping is the aloe vera. So I went ahead and got that. So yeah, let's just give it a try. That was really interesting. I feel like I've never had such an experience before. When I first taste it, of course I taste the matcha, but then I also get the aloe vera. And if you guys have never had aloe vera in a drink before, it's kind of like crunchy. It's kind of like lightly crunchy because it's not like super like solid. Does that make sense? Like super firm, just like you crunch down and it's like, 
I feel like I'm explaining this really poorly, but the reason why it was so interesting to me to have the matcha with the aloe is that I personally have never thought this, but some people think matcha tastes like grass. And so when I drink it with the aloe, it kind of gives me like a seaweed <laughs> vibe. Like, I'm not saying it tastes like seaweed, but it kind of reminds me of seaweed. It's like, it's kind of like water with a hint of matcha. And then when you add the aloe to it, I don't know, all I can think of is seaweed. <laughs> Maybe it's just like my brain is like confused. I don't know. Honestly, not a horrible drink, but I definitely will not be ordering it again. <laughs> so yeah, the next place we're going to is just like right across the street, I think. There's a lot of boba places in this area. So let's head to the next stop. All right, so we just went to Toko Tea and I wanted to come here because, well, first of all, it's been a while since I've been here, but also they had these bottles. They're kind of like soda cans and they used to serve your boba in that soda can thing. But today I came and they said they don't have it anymore. So I'm kind of sad about that, but hopefully they bring it back soon. But anyway, I went ahead and got the least popular drink, which they said is the Black Sesame Freeze. It comes with whipped cream on top. And then I also got it with the least popular topping, which is red bean. And I think Black Sesame and red bean should go pretty well together I think and when they said that this black sesame freeze was the least popular drink I was actually quite shocked because to me that sounds really good you can see that red bean swirling around down there mmm I'm pretty happy with the black sesame freeze the black sesame flavor definitely comes through it pretty much tastes kind of like a black sesame milkshake but more on the icy side because it's a freeze and the red bean it's like not bad in this drink, it adds a different texture and of course it adds like the red bean flavor. A better topping probably would just be normal boba. I feel like that would be better than red bean in this, but overall not bad. So yeah, this video is actually surprising me so far. I feel like I was bracing myself for um, not so good drinks, but maybe it's because my expectations were low. So then I get pleasantly surprised. But yeah, we still have a few more places to go. So let's head over to the fourth stop. All right, so we just stopped by Tiger Sugar, which is the fourth stop, and I have not been to Tiger Sugar in a long time. I think the last and only time I've been to the Tiger Sugar in Cupertino was actually for my trying every boba shop in South Bay video, and that was probably more than like six months ago, so it's been a long time. But since Tiger Sugar, I feel like is the kind of place that people just go there and order one thing, which is their brown sugar boba milk, it would be interesting to see what is their least popular drink. So when I asked them what the least popular drink was, they said it was like the oolong tea. I didn't even know they sell tea at Tiger Sugar, but they said it was just like the plain oolong tea. And obviously I wanted something a little more interesting than just plain tea. So they said that oolong in general is their least popular. So I went ahead and got this drink, which is the oolong tea latte with boba and cream mousse. So yeah, this should be really interesting. Of course, Tiger Sugar always has these signs around the store that says shake 15 times. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Mmm, surprisingly, the drink part is actually pretty good. It's the boba part that I don't like as much because it's definitely on the harder side. It's more of a hard and chewy than a soft and chewy. I usually like it to be softer. And there's even like a little layer of mushiness. It's kind of like mushy on the outside and the inside is kind of hard. So the boba, definitely not my favorite, but the drink, yeah, I feel like the drink is actually the highlight of this rather than the boba, which is what Tiger Sugar is known for. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I really like how the oolong and the brown sugar from the boba taste together. And it's like decently creamy. You definitely taste the oolong tea as well. So yeah, I'm pretty shocked just because usually that's not what Tiger Sugar is known for. If anything, they're known for the boba, but the boba disappointed me. And the oolong, which is the least popular, surprised me. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna try to go to two more places to try the least popular drinks. Honestly, so far, it's definitely going better than I thought it would. So let's head to the fifth stop.
All right, so we just stopped by the fifth stop, which is Teaspoon. And if you've never been to Teaspoon, basically their menu is like set drinks. So they have classic ones like a house milk tea, jasmine milk tea, and then they have ones that are their signatures. For example, I know one that's really popular is the grasshopper. So they said out of their set drinks menu, the least popular is the silky strawberry and it comes with boba already. But I also asked them what the least popular topping is and they said it's this green apple jelly. So this sounds like a very interesting combination. I'm very curious to try it out. Ooh, let's give it a good mix. Oh my gosh, it looks like that Vietnamese dessert. Yeah, I think I said it correctly. But yeah, it looks like it because of the green jellies. It looks like pandan jelly. So it's super vibrant and colorful. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Whoa. That is so interesting. <laughs> So I didn't explain it earlier, but I believe the silky strawberry drink is basically just like a strawberry milk and it also comes with boba. But I think what makes it so interesting is the addition of the green apple jelly. My taste buds are so confused. <laughs> okay, when I drink it, you kind of can taste like everything. You can taste the milk, you can taste the strawberry, you can taste the boba. By the way, the boba's pretty good. And then the crunchiness of the green apple jelly and like the combination of it all for some reason to me, tastes like banana. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my taste buds. I mean, earlier I was getting like a seaweed vibe from the Seven Leaves drink, and now I'm getting a banana vibe from this strawberry milk. It's so interesting. I just keep taking sips of it because I'm like so shocked and confused and it doesn't seem real. My brain and my eyes are like, okay, green apple and strawberry. But then I drink it and my taste buds are like banana. <laughs> I'll have to take this home and see what my mom thinks about it. I'll insert a clip here of what she thought. I can taste strawberry and I can taste that apple flavor. Uh-huh. To me, it tastes like banana altogether. <laughs> <laughs> I can see where that comes from. Yeah, right, right, right. See, even mom agrees it tastes banana-like. Yeah, how did that happen? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, let's go ahead and head over to the last stop. Okay, so we just stopped by the last stop, which is Yifeng. And of course I asked them what the least popular drink is. And I hope they understood my question because when I first asked them, they thought I was asking what the most popular drink is. Probably because that's what a normal person would ask. But I think in the end, they did understand I was asking for the least popular. So they said it's this drink, which is the Mango Pomelo Sago, which I was super surprised because I feel like Mango Pomelo Sago is a really popular drink. Maybe not at Yifeng specifically, but at other places. And if you guys are interested in making it at home, I have a super easy recipe on both my Instagram and my TikTok. So go check that out. But yeah, anyway, back to the drink. Before I left to film this video, I was telling my mom what video I was doing. And she was suspecting that some of the least popular drinks could be some of their most expensive drinks because she thinks that they're least popular because they're expensive. So far, I don't think that's been the case, but I feel like maybe this one is because this drink was $7.25 and this is like the small size. But yeah, let's go ahead and try it. You can see... Wow, this person's playing music really loudly. Should I like move? Um, okay, I'm gonna move my car. Hold on, be right back. So you can see the sago down here and you can definitely see the chunks of pomelo as well. By the way, if you guys have never had sago before, it's basically like tapioca, but it's not the same texture as boba. It's also a lot smaller, like really small tapioca balls. But yeah, I definitely recommend trying it if you haven't yet. Let's go ahead and mix this up. Mmm. Mango sago is super good. It also has a hint of coconut milk in it and the sago just adds a really nice texture. And this is like, I wouldn't say heavy, but it's definitely more thick. So I wouldn't say it's super refreshing. I would say it's more like a summer dessert or a summer filling drink, if you will. <laughs> but it's super good and I highly, highly recommend you try it, especially if you like mangoes, then you're definitely gonna love this. All right, so that's it for today's video. Please let me know in the comments which one you guys were the most surprised by. Honestly, I felt like most of them were surprising to me. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here's today's comment shout out. Thank you 
you so much for your support. And if you want to be in the next videos, comment shout out. Make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hi everyone! In today's video, we are doing only ordering the least popular menu boba drink menu items. Wait, huh? Dang, I ran out of cup holders. Uh-oh. That's why I keep a bunch of these in my car. Oh my god. It's everywhere. <laughs>